Hey guys, so I look an absolute mess. I think I say that every video, but welcome to day 18 of Vlogmas. To be honest with you, I'm not really doing anything today, so I had no idea what to make this vlog about. Um, we've been making mince pies, um, but I didn't want to do a mince pie video because we had the Maids of Honor tarts yesterday, so... There was no point doing two cooking videos in a row. But we've been making mince pies, which I can't eat because they've got brandy in them and I don't drink. <laughs> and uh, we did some karaoke last night. So really, I just... I had no idea what to do for you today. But I thought, I've had a look around my room because I've been doing it today in preparation for Christmas. Um, and it's been a long time since I've done a room tour of my actual bedroom. Most of my room tours tend to focus on the Harry Potter room. So the last time I did a room tour easily a year, a year ago maybe. So, lots of stuff has changed, so I thought I'd show you around my bedroom, which sounds very, very creepy. But there's a lot of fandoms going on in here. We've got Buffy, bits of Harry Potter, although Harry Potter's mainly in the Harry room. We've got Thumper, Game of Thrones, Hunger Games, all sorts of bits. So, let's have a look through my room. Okay, so to be honest with you, I haven't really tidied that much. Um, so it's a little bit messy, uh, but I thought I'll show you it in its natural, uh, in its natural state. Uh, so we have this Follow Your Dreams sign on my door, and uh, my best friend got me that. Then I have these from the pound shop when it was Halloween. They're like little skull lights that I've got around my door. Turn the light off. So that's what they look like. They're just cute little skulls, which I think is really, really nice. I don't know if it'll focus. Then over here... I have my light switch, which says, said, Lumos and Knox, but the S has gone from years of using the light, obviously. So first of all, we have this little section here. So this is my Hunger Games stuff. This didn't used to be here. I can't remember where this used to be, to be honest. But this first shelf here is all the Hunger Games stuff I've got, which I've done like a couple of videos on before. You can see the DVDs. My Mockingjay Part 1 doesn't have a case at the minute because that's currently with Natalie Dormer. Um, there's my books, more books, more stuff, cinema magazines, annuals, bits like that. Moving on down, this is a new addition. You haven't seen this piece of furniture before. This is my Tudor section. Now, this is all... Tudor books and Tudor DVDs. I've done a couple of videos on these before. My Tudor book of days is still downstairs though. We've got some horrible history stuff. It's a bit dark down here, so apologies for that. But we've got more Tudor books here. Then we have some of my Anne Boleyn stuff that I bought at Gainsborough Old Hall. So that's my Tudor section. And then right next door on the floor, because I don't have anywhere else to put it, is my actual The Tudors stuff. So the Tudors TV series. So we have some trading cards. Every single box set. Again, the booklet for that is still with Natalie Dormer. And then some of the books. Which really frustrated me because there's a book for season one, a book for season two, a book for season three. No book for season four. Moving on, we have my Dream Boys poster, which you see in the back of most of my videos. I mean, let's be realistic, it's just a bunch of half-naked men. What can you do? But it's signed by all of the members of the Dream Boys. This was two years ago, I think, that I got this big poster. And then up here, we have my miscellaneous Funko Pops that don't fit with any other collection. So we have Harley Quinn, Thumper, Misty Day, Alice, Poison Ivy, and the Countess from Hotel. That little section might change by Christmas, you know, in case I've got any. <laughs> and then moving down here we have my bed, which is the reversible Hogwarts uh, la, 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 duvet cover. And uh, quite a lot of us have this now. I know a few of people who watch my videos have this. And uh, yeah, it's from Wilco's. Then I recently bought the Harry Potter bunting because it finally came to my Primark. I have two of them. So this one I've decided to put in my bedroom just like that. And the other one, obviously, I've kept sealed and left in the Harry Potter room. Behind that I have a wolf dream catcher, which has some rather personal memories attached to it. Um, and then I have a jelly bean, jelly belly for air freshener, car freshener thing. And then up here we have a Buddha. I'll have to get up on the bed, won't I? Right, I'm up on the bed. So we have this hanging Buddha thing. And this, it looks like a Christmas decoration. That should have gone on my tree. Then we have some Buffy stuff up here. And then we get onto, of course, the Buffy section. But there are a few of these 
Hogwarts, um, I made these, what they're called, candles, I forgot the name of them, uh, hanging candles. So we're at the bulk of the collection up here, which is of course the Buffy section, I won't talk about it too much because I've done lots and lots and lots of videos on Buffy in the past and I'm going to be doing a couple of figure reviews and bits like that. So this is the Buffy, the Buffy area as it stands now. Moving down, we've got my pillows. I've got the Harry Potter ones underneath, but I just find them a bit uncomfortable. I recently picked up this Thumper hot water bottle. Yesterday, actually, I bought this. Again, Primark, £8. And it's still a bit warm, so that's pretty impressive, seeing as I used that last night. And then I have my childhood teddy, which looks absolutely gross because he needs a wash. I've had him since I was born, pretty much. Then we have this little section, which I haven't really cleaned up. So we have my light switch. We have this teddy, which I have fond memories with because on my birthday last year, me, Sarah and Casey, my best friends, all went to the Jungle Zoo and we all got a teddy each. So that's why that's there. I don't really know what else is around here at the minute. We've got my headphones. We've got this stone, which is personal to me um, and my dad. Bunch of lip bars, because why not? A stylus. A memory jar thing that I have for Jack, even though he's not dead, so that's a bit morbid. Uh, some Timber and playing cards, a Maleficent postcard. We have my little Buddha statue here with my Clada ring on top of him. So that's that little section, I suppose. And then we have like a, my electric blanket and some other weird bits there. My yearbook and some other bits there. Now the top drawer here has a shit ton of candles and incense sticks and buddhist stuff in there i really need to get rid of some candles and the other two drawers i'm not even going to bother opening because i have absolutely no idea what's in there moving down here we have a buffy poster that i need to put up um these two boxes which is very dark so you can't see has my buffy comics and my buffy magazines in they've just got too heavy to put up on the shelf because it'll probably break oh you probably saw my two alan rickman things here as well the sheriff of nottingham and judge teppin then we have this Girl Interrupted poster, which is one of my all-time favourite movies. I made that myself. We have this uh, Harley Quinn and the Joker print, which I just really liked. We have my TV, which is hardly ever on. Then we get to this really messy section that I am not bothered tidying, which I probably should have done. We have more candles, Poison Ivy, Electra, some Legos, Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy, Candle, Buddha, this beautiful Thumper figure. A Jack Russell, which I thought looked a bit like Jack. This Peter Rabbit teddy, where I've lost his clothes. Another candle, an Angelina Jolie film. Yes. Some stones, some blue tack, my remote, and this piano, which is actually a jewellery box that's just crammed with absolute rubbish. And then I have my Stife Fox that my dad bought me. This gorgeous teddy, which I love. Yeah, I've still got a lot of teddies. And then this is the bulk of my CD collection which I've kind of spoke of before. There's a couple of cassettes chilling as well. You can see Sweeney Todd there. I've done a few videos on my uh, CDs. Behind that, I have my handmade Slayer Scythe, which is absolutely rubbish. I have a microphone and a lead, and my limited edition signed David Boreanaz poster. Then we have this cat ornament, which is just chilling there. Basically, my old cat poo poo, she used to look like this. Then we have this drawer here, or this cupboard, which has a hanging Harley Quinn on it. Let's go inside and have a little look. It's very dark though. So that's the bulk of my DVDs. There's DVDs behind, DVDs everywhere. This at the bottom you can't see at all, but I've done videos on it before. Basically, my Twilight collection is on the bottom shelf here. Um, I've done videos on it before, like I said, so it doesn't matter that you can't really see it. Then we've got a heater. Just chilling here because, I mean, it's damn freezing in this room. Then we have this mirror. Mmm, fancy. And uh, my chimney breast, which is pink. I don't even like pink, but I actually like how this room looks. Then we recently just moved these inspirational quotes. Yeah, as you do. Then we're on to the bulk of my Game of Thrones collection. So we've got Funko Pops, Funko Pops, Funko Pops. Bits on here. I've done a video on my Game of Thrones before, so I'm not going to talk about them in much detail. We got my beautiful Marjorie. Mm hmm. And then uh, more Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones. Yeah. That's Game of Thrones. Then we have my drawers. Probably, I don't know what's in here socks, underwear, all random bits. But in this drawer, I can't remember if it is this drawer. Yes, it is. In this drawer, we have all of my Doctor Who magazines and books because 
I got to know where else to put them. In this drawer, we have other Doctor Who bits, the rest of my collection, because I got nowhere else to put it. There, Kate is. I <laughs> still haven't given them her, her back. Oops. And in this drawer, we have all of my stuff to cosplay Faith from Buffy. I've spoke about that before. It's just full of, full of rubbish, basically. And that wig really needs to go in the bin. Okay, moving on. I don't want this video to run too long. We have my bookcase. This is my mostly to be read books so we have a Gaius figure from Merlin these are all the books that need to be read oh I have a cute picture of me Katie and Beth she's probably gonna hate that I've shown that more to be read books some of these I have actually read so I don't know why they're here more books more books books and programs books 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 and then I have my Harry Potter books in the Harry room as you've seen and all my other books are in a big whole bookcase on the hallway in the hallway then we have this section which I haven't organised in about 10 years. It's just body stuff and, and perfumes and hair dryers and, and rubbish. Then I have Miss Bunny and Thumper hanging off it. Another inspirational quote which I think Katie got me or Sarah. I can't remember which one, sorry. I have my Mala beads. Two of the same bat. My London bus. And a Palmer Violets hangy thing that doesn't even smell anymore so... I mean, I don't know why it's there. Then we have Midnight Texas down in the corner, which I haven't started reading yet. And some spare wallpaper, because don't ask why, ask why not. Then my camera is getting more and more unfocused as we go on. I have my wash basket, which has random stuff in it. I have my wardrobe, which has, I mean, it might surprise you, but it has clothes in it. And then my top section has Budders. This is my bulk of my Thumper section. I've shown that before. Budders, Budders, Budders. Random rubbish. Crap up there. Memory boxes. And all my VHS tapes, which need to go up in the loft. Yeah, so that's about it, really. We can have a little look on my... Oh, yeah, let's have a look on me windowsill. See what's going on. I haven't even checked this windowsill since. So... We have Buddha stuff with more candles, 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 literally candles, Buddha's everywhere. This dog sign, all you need is love and a dog. A sister act bracelet from when I went to the show. These flowers, obviously fake. Some shells because why not? Some playing cards, more buttery stuff. More Buddha stuff, some Halloween candles and a random earring. So that's pretty much it. So that's my full room tour video. Sorry it's a bit random. Um, I couldn't really think of anything else to do if I'm honest with you. It's kind of a vlog. We've gone through my room. Here's a little nice shot. Mm, fancy. We've gone through my room. If you want an updated version of the Harry Potter room, because I have moved bits around, then please let me know, but I'll probably do that after Christmas for obvious reasons. Uh, I've kind of done a few hallway tours, but the lighting in there is tragic. But the hallway is basically where I have... Gotham, the rest of my books, and True Blood stuff, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching my room tour video. Now I'm going to go downstairs and help make some more mince pies that I can't eat. Sounds about right. So I'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully with a more organised video for day 19. Day 19 of Vlogmas. Oh my god, Christmas is nearly here. So I'll see you soon, guys. Bye.